Welcome to our previews of the 2023 baseball season as we talk to our coaches leading up to opening day. I have with me the Campbell Camels head coach, Justin Hare. Coach, thank you so much for being with us. Thanks, Mark. Appreciate being here and looking forward to breaking it down a little bit. Well, you got a, you got another championship to defend. Uh, and as we look from taking that team into this year's team, uh, things you might have to change or, or tweak, particularly given that you're replacing two first round draft choices. You lose Zach Neto and Thomas Harrington. So what, what are the camels in general this year? What does that picture look like? Yeah, every year's going to be a little bit different, right? And, um, you know, you say defend a, a championship, well, you know, in, in true coach speak, which is which is kind of true, is the 2023 version of the Fighting Camels has, hasn't won anything, right? We've got a, a new crew and, and a new group, but um, certainly looking forward to that challenge, replacing, you know, Zach and, and Tommy, those guys were exceptional for us. I think the biggest thing for us is, is that we just need to continue to, to find our own identity and, and see who we're going to be. And sometimes we have an idea of what that looks like um, going into the season. And then sometimes, you know, very similar to last year, I think we started one and six or something like that on the season. And so you kind of have to find some of those answers quickly as you go through the early season. And so um, looking forward to, you know, guys like Cade Keeler, Drake Pearson, Aaron Rund, um, you know, some of those returners that have kind of been through the fire the last two, three years um, where we've been able to have some success kind of lead us and and uh, kind of start to stamp the identity of, of what this version of our team is going to be. Well, let's start at the plate. And uh, Drake Pearson is one of those guys you're counting on, top returner uh, in the lineup, preseason All-American. What are you expecting from him and who else uh, is going to be responsible for production? Yeah, yeah. Drake's, uh, you know, one of those guys that, um, you know, as we kind of worked our way through last season, he hit a big home run, a big walk off home run for us, I think, in game eight last year against Air Force that really kind of started to turn the tide for us. And and he really um, carried us for a, for a large portion of the year as, as we started to kind of figure out some stuff offensively. And he worked his way into that role. He wasn't a guy last year that we felt like, hey, man, like, He's for sure going to be a guy. And then he ended up being a guy, hit 19 home runs, hit 330, I think led the league in RBIs and, and stuff like that. So we're just looking for some of that that natural leadership to continue to come out of him. And and whether he starts hot, doesn't start hot, he's kind of got that maturity piece that that he can kind of be even keel and, and be a guy that kind of anchors our lineup. Uh, you start pairing guys, you know, obviously him and then guys like Jared Belbin, who also hit 19 out of the leadoff spot for us last year. Logan Jordan hitting the four hole for us all year last year, hit 12 home runs, drove in 50 plus. All those guys are back. Ty Halstead's back in our outfield, hit 390 something and and really caught fire about the last 25 or 30 games of the season and, and really gave us a shot in the arm down towards the bottom of the lineup. So we've got some guys coming back that, that are going to be able to do some some damage for us and they've been through the fire and kind of know what it takes to to win championships and um, score a bunch of runs on the other side because offense won't get you will only get you so far uh, as far <laughs> as pitching goes Ken keeler top returner uh he's had some experience with team usa and what what is what does he bring to the staff and how and flesh out that staff for us a bit yeah obviously Cade, man a, a tremendous second half of the season last year is I think he went four and six on the year, but but like the the numbers down the stretch were, were pretty ridiculous. He just kept getting better and better and better throughout the year, went up to the Cape, threw for a little bit up there, ended up making Team USA first player in, in Campbell baseball history to to play for, for Team USA, which was really special uh, summer for him and, and a really good accolade for our program. Um, and so we're going to look at, you know, for him to not necessarily replace Tommy um, on that Friday night side of things. But but Kate as a freshman started on Friday for us a little bit. He started on Saturdays for us. He ended up starting on Tuesdays and 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 and, and you know, kind of giving us a shot down the stretch to be in that at large um, conversation last year. Um, so we're kind of looking at him to, to be that leader and, and the guy that does everything right. He's going to graduate in three years. He's a top draft prospect. Like he's just he, he's a stud individual and, and a guy that, that is a very good leader and especially a leader by example. And so that's going to be really good for our staff. 
you start to piece in some other guys that we had, you know, in his same class, Ty Cummings out of the bullpen, had a tremendous summer in the Cape, gave up one earned run all summer. Kay Boxrucker also went up to the Cape and he started on the weekends for us um, last year, went up to the Cape, pitched it to a two, stayed up there all summer. So we've had some guys that that have some experience. Again, um, we've got some exciting incoming guys, um, but we've got some some kind of chisel veterans that, that have been through the fire the last couple of years. They got a lot of experiences as first year guys uh, in 21 when we went to the Mississippi State Regional and then last year at the Tennessee Regional. Guys like Aaron Rund that have that have kind of been uh, swing guys out of our bullpen, but also um, have started for us. Those guys are invaluable and, and are going to bring a lot of experience and and uh, and leadership qualities to a to an exciting staff. Well, everybody knows the challenges you're going to face in conference, uh, so we, we can kind of skip forward and talk about non-conference. What do we have to look forward to? What uh, what is interesting on the Camels' future this year? Man, you know, I think every year we, you know, my staff, I think, yells at me every year because I handle the scheduling and so they yell at me every year because it seems like our, our non-conference schedule just continues to get, get stronger and stronger. I think last year we finished with the eighth ranked um, strength of schedule for non-conference um, scheduling. And, and so we just continue to try to push that limit. We're going to open up with with a Big Ten opponent, Rutgers University coming down. They finished second in the Big Ten last year, won 44 games. Um, many people said they got snubbed um, from an NCAA bid from an at-large standpoint. Obviously, 44 wins in the Big Ten, you would think, would be in that conversation. So th they're going to be very good. They led the country and run scored last year. So that's going to be a good opening test. We've got East Carolina three times this year. We've got them home, home, and a neutral site at uh, at Segra Stadium in, in Fayetteville, which will be a really exciting series. We've got Coastal Carolina, a former Big South opponent. Um, we've got them three times. We've got them twice at our place and once down there. Um, and then we're taking a big trip uh, over spring break. We're gonna go down and play Louisiana Lafayette, the Raging Cajuns for three, and then stay down and play Tulane um, in the middle of the week for two, and then come back and play App State on the road. So we've got, we've got a stretch right there at the beginning of March, those first two weekends of March, um, where we've got, it ends up being a nine game road trip between Louisiana Lafayette, Tulane, App State, and and Coastal Carolina all on the road. Um, so even before we get into to conference play, um, we're gonna find out, you know, we're, we're gonna get challenged and, and, and kind of be uh, road tested and, and maybe even a little bit road weary, but, but looking forward to those challenges. Well, you have quite a gauntlet ahead of you. We wish you and we wish all the Camels the best of luck uh, in what's to come. We look forward to seeing it and uh, best of luck with final preparations. And thank you for your time, Coach. Thanks, Mark. Appreciate it.